slowly makes his way forward from the edge of the penalty area still the Dons doing well to close uh, Gillingham down it's Kashkit now on the far side back now with Baggett Gillingham happy to take all the time that they need to and sure enough back it goes once again to the keeper Glenn Morris now here's Jeffries Baggett now away on the far side looks up and hoists the and they've got their noses in front thanks to Ethan Chisley uh, what a great goal it was as well for Wales in uh, international football Chris Gunter as well well John Main sat a few seats away to our right standing up he, uh, he didn't like passing the ball I've got to be honest he wanted <laughs> to take all the penalties free kicks everything sounds like Mainy <laughs> Dangerous when the Dons perhaps have uh, dillied and dallied on the edge of their box with some uh, times, uh, well, risky passing, shall we say, to put it diplomatically. Haven't really created that much into the Gillingham half. Too far ahead of Asal, though, and it's going to be picked up by uh, Elkan Baggett for Gillingham. Plays a 1 2 with the keeper, Glenn Morris. Midway inside his own half, the Gillingham number 23. Square now for. Uh, Aimer floated high and forward, a pretty needlessly conceded free kick and the booking in his direction. Forward it goes now though for Davison, well played though by Baggett, comes across, steps in and diverts it out for a throw to the Don. And uh, Gillingham, well certainly when we're at home to them, sometimes... Uh, that is it I think. Yeah, he's doing all right, I've been driving him mad for Arsenal tickets. Uh, <laughs> my kids my kids are at the game today so he's looked after me there in his box. And uh, it's on touchline for the Dons, the sale goes on, cross comes in from Brown, in towards Davis at all and it was well picked away from him by Baggett. It's a left foot shot that comes in then from Gunter and goodness me, an unorthodox save but an effective one from Morris, uh, I think with his leg. 32 and a half minutes gone then. Chris Gunter, the, uh, the most capped player, Sald as well, touches it back to Brown and there's a good ball looking for uh, Chisley and well played there by Baggett once again, comes across to uh, prevent Baggett. Uh, build up the play in the centre field with Williams, touches it back now into his own half for Baggett. Kept high and away towards the near side, here's Will Wright. Short square pass now for Williams once again, back into his own half, into the centre circle for uh, Baggett once again. steered forward now towards the Dons at penalty area but well intercepted by Chislett now Davison inside the centre circle feeds it nicely into a sal oh, and he was very nearly able to take what that one in his stride but well played Baggett who came across and uh, into Zanev now once again on the edge of his area forced high and forward once again Baggett wins it above Davison just inside the Gillingham half is Baggett just on the edge of the centre circle. Last 10 seconds out of regulation time in the first half. He's right, picking the ball on with a header. I get tight to him uh, when he's on the ball. At the minute, he's, he's, he's having a bit too much time on the ball to pick them passes. Indeed, a fortune right. Thrown back into his own half now for Aimer. Played across to Baggett. Back to Aimer, away towards that uh, far side. Eight minutes gone in the second half, still far side. Magoma now, midway inside his own half. Diagonal pass that in the end was too far ahead of Marsh and not quite uh, into the path of Davison. Gillingham intercepting once again. The Dons inviting Gillingham forward with some of these misplaced passes, which in the end was the key to the uh, three-point uh, downfall here, more or less a year ago here. Here's Green now, right side of the Dons penalty area. Brown now going in for the challenge and it's he who gets the touch to send it behind. Another uh, Davison. As Gillingham try and come forward once again. The other end, is, as Anthony's touched upon as well, that back line is just holding together well and Jack, Jack Curry on date. Bounces on towards the Sal. Baggett though gets the touch to win it back for Gillingham. Now they've definitely come out a different team. Uh, obviously Reeves has changed the game, but when they do break, the counter-attack is on. If we can take more care, um, we can definitely catch them on the break. Opening salvo for the Dons in great style. You know, really has come along that uh, loan spell that he had season long loan spell at Eastbourne Borough 2-0 to Wimbledon launched forward by Zanev Davison as well to flick it on beyond uh, Bagger but Asal couldn't quite get there ahead of Alexander Nightingale though can recycle it for the Dons finds Gunter steered forward down the line here's Davison once again full of tricks and step overs to bamboozle Bagger and steers it back now to Marsh Sean Williams the Gillingham captain Kyle Hudlin, imminent then uh, for the Dons, the uh, six foot nine striker signed from Solihull Moors. Back a bit too easy, so 
Hopefully the big man can get hold of it. And you're going to get your wish as well for about five minutes. You're going to get to see Alfie Bendel as well. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to see this boy. I um, heard a lot of good things about him, so hopefully uh, he can show us something special in the next five minutes. Pre-season with Wimbledon and, uh, of course, Des Walker's son, but uh, I suppose he's managed to pass on too much information that's helped him here today by the looks of it. Substitute ultimately hasn't uh, brought a goal for Gillingham. I think the Dons have gradually uh, sussed him out as maybe as the second half has gone on. As uh, Nightingale intercepts another ball, Alexander intercepts for Gillingham. Now here's Bagger, here's Williams inside the centre circle. Fifth, and then you can see them running around for each other. It's um, it's enjoyable to watch. Is uh, Baggett now steering the ball forward into Gabode, tangling with Nightingale, who comes away with the ball. Gabode looking at the referee, but to nothing doing. It'll be just six of one half a dozen of the other there. As Gunter threads it forward towards Hudlin, but uh, it's going to be Baggett who will steer it all the way back now to Glenn Morris. Hudlin makes a late bit to try and close him down, but the keeper steers it forward. Steaming end of a 2-0 beating, and uh, well, he's joined us this afternoon. He's had the talent.